to say about it. Oh, how about I'm sorry? Well, of course I'm sorry. How can I not be? You still haven't said it. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm going. No, uh, listen. What? What is it? I, uh, I think you should realize that I've been under a lot of strain lately. Yeah. Oh. And that maybe, <laughs> maybe I've handled, I've handled some things badly. So you're under a lot of strain. So you go and fuck somebody else. Oh! That's unnecessarily blunt. Christ, you're a cheeky bastard! Couldn't you get these cleaned up before I came? Got rid of that odd pair of panties? <laughs> I thought they were yours. I don't buy my panties at job lock <laughs> And I have a very low opinion of people who do! <laughs> they keep your ears warm. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm kidding, don't you, Dan? You think, oh, well, Lisa's just having another little episode. It'll all blow over. Chalk one up to Mal exuberance, hit the sack? Who the fuck do you think you are, James Bond? <laughs> Did you use a condom? Huh? A condom. You know what those are, you see them on TV all the time. <laughs> Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you slept with her and then you slept with me and you don't know who she's been fucking now, do you not? Do you? <laughs> I'm going. Where? I'm going to lie down in traffic, Don. I'm going to let a crosstown bus roll over me because my life is now meaningless since you betrayed me. I'm going to my apartment, you stupid shithead. Look, it was a very casual thing. It, it's over. <laughs> Look, it, it, I made a mistake, I admit that, but it made me realize something, something really important. Yes. I love you. What? I, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard what you said, you love me, that doesn't mean shit. This isn't high school, I'm wearing your pin. You want to know what really counts out here with the rest of the graduates? Hmm? What? It's not worth it. Do what you want, Don. I don't even know who you are after four months. I don't know who you are or why you do what you do. I mean, you keep getting your dick stuck in things. <laughs> what's that all about anyways? Will somebody please explain that to me? Sandwich creams, it was just boxes and boxes of crap. The smell was nauseating. Let's go on much longer. Anyway, I looked out, and there was a moon. I mean, this thing looked like a tiny blue Nerf ball, so I popped open a bottle of you, and I kicked back to relax, but it must have been dope because it knocked me right out. Okay, and when I woke up, the whole ship was in flames. <laughs> and, and my, I tried to get up, but my wrists, they were tied with piano wire. We just slicing into them like they were chunks of ham. I was strapped down into my chair. It was like in a nosedive. And, and then all of a sudden, bam, the whole port side of the ship blew away. And I could see that planet floating beneath me. A whole new world, Lisa. Unsullied, virgin, pristine. I reached out for it. 
And then the whole ship just like blew up all around me. And there I was like strapped to this chair, like in a nosedive going into the void. And all of a sudden I just like lost my mind. And when I woke up, I was just laying there. <laughs> in the sand. My hat, my body was half buried. My right hand was gone. It was sliced off by the piano wire. There were leeches sucking on it, sucking on the stump. I just rolled over. And I waited for death. And then you. You rose from the water in a bed of seaweed. And your body, I mean, your hips had swayed in the white sand like with an animal rhythm. I didn't even know why you were there. But I didn't ask. Uh, you, you got next to me. You kneeled and you gave me nectar from a gourd? You kneeled me in the shade of the trees. Uh, I, I, I didn't speak. I didn't know what to say. And, you know, after a while, we built a shelter, and we bore many children. <laughs> I, I went fishing with, with a spear in the light of the, of the three blue moons. And then one day, you and I, we just rolled over in the sand, let our, our breath just eased away from our bodies, and we died. And the ocean just swallowed our bones. What a crock of shit. <laughs> it's true! You honestly expect me to believe all that. It's true, I dreamt it. Well, you got a vivid imagination, I'll give you that much. Very charming, it, very romantic. It's an omen, a prophecy. Of what? Of the two of us together. Well. Oh, you'd probably make me do the fishing anyway. I would not, <laughs> I promise. No. No, this is not it. This is nothing. I can't even talk to you until you tell me the truth. Why did you do this, Don, when you knew that I trusted you? Was it her breasts? Was it her buttocks? Was it the smell of her sweat? Was it her underwear? Was it because it wasn't me? Any reason? Any reason at all? I wanted to see if I could get away with it. Why? Because that's what a man would do. But, but I want to marry you, Lisa. Let's get married. I don't want to anything else. I want to be able to just put my, my face in your lap. Can I do that? I just want to bury you. <laughs> I don't want to think about anything.